assume that uh, we'll get a rematch here. We'll eventually get a rematch as we go into this next match here. Of course, the best friends versus the addiction. Oh, what a tag team and bout I, this will be, Cole. And I'm hoping that this one goes a little bit longer, get some action in the ring. I'm excited for this one. Well, the best friends, of course, internationally known. They've made their mark all around the globe. They're looking for a victory over former ROH World Tag Team Champions. Team contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, making their way to the ring at a combined weight of 432 pounds, Chucky e. T. Beretta Best Friends. And Ian, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy and glad the best friends are out here. I don't want to linger on Mark Briscoe all night long, but let's hope we get a word from him. Originally, I thought it was the groin. It looked to be a totally dislocated elbow, and uh, we're gonna hopefully get him in the ring action one, you know, eventually, and we'll be able to see that match. But now, we have to move on. The action keeps going. That's what Ring Honor is all about. And I'm excited to see these two in the ring as tag team partners and best friends. Yeah, this is what tag team action is all about here at Ring of Honor. As you see, two men hell-bent on ruining what they call what the fans love about Ring of Honor. A change in attitude. A weird change in attitude. Yes, indeed, a 180. So many people backed Christopher Daniels on his way to the championship, and even after they, even after he lost, you know, there were a handful of people who worked for him, but there were a lot of people who supported him, and he only heard the haters. He only heard the trolls, which is something you cannot do. So tonight, here they come out with this kind of sickening attitude. And Ian, dare I say, while this ad, they haven't scored a pitfall. No, this has been a, uh, it, it's no coincidence that this, this sour streak has, has limited their win-loss prowess. As we, are we gonna get the addiction here or what? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, nobody hey! expected that match. Oh. That doesn't look like a wrestling outfit to me. Where's your clothes? Where's your clothes? If you're not too distracted by our sweet pyro, I'd like to first wish everybody a happy Friday the 13th. Yeah! That's a cheap pop, Frankie. Which is fitting because there's some very scary looking ladies in this building this evening. You're no prize yourself, buddy. Now, geniuses, we are not dressed to wrestle because we are not going to wrestle. Hey, you think the fans would be cheering for that? Let me explain myself, best friends. You guys are in fact best friends, right? And you guys, you like the best friends. Well, guess what? Christopher Daniels, he's my best friend. Oh. And the last time we were in this building, we had all you morons convinced that I turned my back on my best friend. And you know what you did? You cheered because you thought I joined the Bullet Club. So if you think they care about best friends or loyalty, they don't. You don't care about wrestling. You don't care about loyalty. You're here to drink, throw streamers, do stupid chants, and get yourself over. They're doing a better job than you are, Frankie. <laughs> the tide has turned against the addiction here. Almost rather predictably, Frankie. Oh, that was a great streamer throw. By Thank you upstairs. for proving my point, genius. So we are not wrestling tonight because you do not deserve to see us wrestle tonight. Come on! Are they scared of best friends? Are they just... And are they... They're walking... Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 Frankie. It just occurred to me. We're not dressed to wrestle, but honestly, I don't need to be wearing a singlet and a pair of wrestling boots to beat these guys' asses. I mean, do you want to kick some best friend ass? Do you want us to come into the ring right now? Do you people want us to get in the ring right now with the best friends and tear it up? Do you want to see this match right now? Yeah, I want to see it. Let's see it. You want the match? Well, you don't always get what you want. Instead, you can eat a diz because Whoa. we're not wrestling tonight. 
and you can all go to hell. Come on. Go to his. You can go to his. I was ready to see best friends. I wanted to see this match. Best Friends is a great team known around the world. An opportunity to pick up a big this win. Is very odd. Well, you don't, you oh, don't work. Oh, hell yeah! Now, who's this? Is that Steve? What is happening, what is happening here in Pittsburgh? Oh, oh yeah! Ah, this is a real mixed bag of, of matches. And the big dogs are in the building! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's the big dog, and this is Little Willie. And we together are known as the dogs. And Pittsburgh, y'all should know a little something about the dog pound, because every time the Cleveland Browns come here, they whip the Steelers' asses. I don't know if that's true, Cole. The Steelers have, what, six Super Bowls? And that's what y'all are going to have in common with the Steelers because nobody wants it with the dog. Well, talk about taking advantage of an opportunity. It appears the dogs have come out to challenge best friends. Things are going haywire here, Cole. I don't, you know, hopefully, I wanted to see best friends compete. Trent has, he's shown that he's a, a, a great singles wrestler now, a heavyweight Chucky e. T. And I've, just like, the Browns always whip the Steelers' asses. That's what the Big Dog and Little Willie have come to do to the best friends. Y'all don't want it with the Big Dog! Well, these guys Can I get a woof woof? Woof woof. Yeah, woof. But I did it encouragingly. I like the Big Dogs. You know, these two guys, I've, I've had them on my radar for a while. Rhett Titus, former ROH World Tag Team Champion. Will Ferrara, a guy that's on the on the verge of a breakout here in, in Ring of Honor. Let me stop you. It's a little Willie. Little Willie, all right. Well, here we go. It looks like this is going to be official. Our referee, Joe Mondock, is in there. That's a great name. Who, who you thought was Phil in Buffalo? Charles. He looks like a Chucky. Looks like a Chucky, doesn't he? Oh, Chucky well, we have like a Chucky, Chucky in here. And, you know, back at the thought about best friends. Beretta now a heavyweight. Chucky e. T, who I've called one of the best kept secrets on the independent scene for quite some time. And here we go. These two teams, best friends and the dogs. Yeah, well, I mean, there is no game plan. Nobody had a chance to study any kind of film or any kind of anything here. Uh, here we go. A little bit of a do -si do Ducks the clothesline. The dogs now duck it in. And best friend charge in with big clotheslines. Well, they know each other's moves. They are best friends. They're always on the same. Oh, day. there we go. Hugging it out. And best friends in control. Colt, last time we saw them on Ring of Honor television, they defeated Coast to Coast. As we see some dissension on the outside with the dogs. And here we well, go. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I, you know, these two are best friends. I don't think Big Dog and Lil Willie were on the same page there. No, it didn't seem like it. There was a countdown, but only only Lil Willie went in. There we go. Oh, the hug, elbow, drop, cover. One, two count. You gotta say it fast, though. Hug, elbow. Hug, elbow. The hug, elbow drop. Okay. Well, I'm so glad I get to call matches with with guys like Best Friends, one of the top teams in the world, looking for that. ROH World Tag Team title shot. We'll see that match later. Look at the agility of Chucky e. T. Ooh! And the pride of Murray, Kentucky. Going for the cover here. One, two. Of course, Chucky e. T with a, a pinfall on Matt Jackson back in Philadelphia, Colt. Yeah, there. Proving that he's here to play. He is a, a real all star in the world of professional wrestling. Has been so for you know, well over 15 years now. And like you said, a great secret to at least the Ring of Honor. Ooh. Now we see Beretta. Calls himself heavyweight Trent these days. Yeah? With a question mark or without? I've seen it stylized both ways, but Trent brings Lil Willie back to his feet. Fans ask for one more time. Trent gives it to him, and then... Oh, look at Show that. It. Showing <laughs> off those heavyweight muscles. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Shoulder to the midsection. Here comes Will Ferraro. He got caught. Oh, look at that. Northern Lights. One, two. 
So when you're a heavyweight like that, you can catch wrestlers like that. That's no, that's little weight to Trent. Oh, look at this great tag team work here by best friends. Keeping Ferrara on their side of the ring. We both had a little bit of a laugh in there. Yes, indeed. Scoop and, and slam. And for me, that's the best kind of wrestling. Always enjoying yourself, having a good time. Oh, Keep, wait a minute. Keeping the vibe alive. Speaking of keeping the vibe alive. Yeah, Cole, I think we're about to see one of the most dangerous moves in all of professional wrestling. He's building it up. Ferrara getting charged up on the apron. Up and over. He's blown up. He's got to get out of there. Huge center by the big guy. Oh, there we go. Feeling it here in the Steel City. Some familiar poses to the world of wrestling. Clearly, fan favorites here at Global Wars Pittsburgh. You can tell us who your fan favorite is at hashtag Global Wars. And we can only assume it's Colt. Who? Moonsault. We got requests out here. Hey, if you got requests for moves, hashtag Global Wars. Yeah, looks like we might see a standing variety here. Wow, that's a six foot two man. One, two. Ooh. You taking any requests on commentary? Well, you know, Daryl, uh, he provided us with some great insight. But uh, yeah, you know, Total Request Live is back, Colt. So, you know, requests are back in these days. Snapmare. Oh, it's great to be. Ooh, got some pin. Great to be back here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, home of Norm Connors, legendary wrestling figure, and Bruno San Martino. Oh, of course, the living legend. Look at the moonsault. Beretta, one, two. I think Trent left because I don't know the last time he did a standing moonsault in the ring. Well, these two just dominating the dog. And of course, as a heavyweight, that's something he's known to do. Oh, there's a tag. Yeah, he tagged him all right. And Beretta with an opportunity, chops Ferrara to the mat. Of course, we still have the legal man is Red Titus. Excuse me, hello. Yeah, there he is. Nice straight left. Oh, some dissension here. And this is a characteristic of the dog. No, no, he meant to do it, meant to do it. Watch out. Oh, look at that. These guys have a very interesting relationship. I, I, I wouldn't say best friends. But they're making for a nice little tag team these days. Yeah, defeated coast to coast last night in Buffalo. Picked up the victory in our opening bout last night. And tonight, taking advantage of an opportunity, trying to grab the bull by the horns. Right, Red Tide is known to get around in the world of tag team wrestling. Would you say he's polyamorous? Cover one, two. Uh, when he's in that relationship, he's, he's uh, mon monogamous. Monogamous. Yeah, I would agree, you know, former tag team champion trying to lead. Will Ferrara to those heights as well. And you gotta think he saw something in Will Ferrara. Will Ferrara constantly, you know, really uh, on cheeseburger, getting the best of cheeseburger. Yeah, and they, and they formed a partnership based on their shared hatred of cheeseburger. It kind of seems like they hate each other as Titus uses Ferrara like a missile. And they have hate in their heart, I think. Wow! There you go. Look at that one, two. Was it, that was some continuity. I don't know if that was intentional, though. Whether it was or wasn't, seems to be working. And of course, the dogs, they're on a roll. That finishing move, who let the dogs out? There's a hot dog on a roll joke there. I just don't have it. Ferrara charges in, driving those shoulders. The sold out crowd here in Pittsburgh firmly behind best friends, but maybe the dogs are earning some respect here at Stage AE. Of course, a lot of people remember Trent Barata, or just Trent here in Ring of Honor, as tag team partners with Rocky Romero. He was Rapunky Vice. And that is no longer a team, but interesting to say, he was always still best friends with Chuck Taylor. And of course, Rocky leading the men known as the Tempura Boys. The transformation, Rapongi 3K, they won the IWGP Junior Championships. Their last match in Ring of Honor was against the Dogs. And that you will see that in an upcoming episode of Ring of Honor Wrestling. Spoiler! Oh, oh, Spoiler alert, love is in the air, by the way. Yeah, that's the spoiler. Is he gonna TDT his own partner? Wait a minute. No, oh! <laughs> Will is not happy. Wow, and Titus shoves Ferrar to the outside. Oh! 
on the inside. Tornado DDT. And now Beretta needs to make a tag here, Colt. And the ring is wide open. Oh, he's got to get Chuck in. Chuck with that always interesting clapping method. Yeah, daylight open, daylight fading perhaps. Oh, wow. And the sunset on that tag. I don't know if we can get that. You know, we thought Titus was doing something wrong. Oh, man. Mafia kicks Beretta's head off. Wait a minute, here we go, Colt. BLL. Oh, look at this, rolls him over. And these two have great chemistry together when they're not at each other's throats. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that. That could be it. Could be one, two. Oh, but Chucky T in just in time. Saying Red, you know, basically knocked Lil Willie out, but essentially right by, right by Chuck Taylor. And that was a great tag team uh, partnership there. Certainly was. They were on the same page. Little Willie pulled the, the foot of Chuck Taylor. Oh. Trent wasn't able to make a tag. Hold that thought, Colt. When we were in Las Vegas, they had this dog collar, this chain to assault. This way, here it is. Chainburger's here. Chainburger. Chain burglar. Oh, show Chain. Oh, Cheeseburger's in the building, baby. Oh. Colt, here we are. This could be it, right into the crunchy boy, the Dude Buster. Dude Buster! Color, one, two, three, best friends take up the victory. Here are your winners, best friends. And Cheeseburger perhaps playing a large role in this match, certainly enough to create the opening for the best friends. Who Colt pick up a victory here tonight, not the opponents they thought they'd face. Yeah, really interesting scenario, but here at Ring of Honor, we always want to give you the very best wrestling that we can. And if the addiction, if they're just going to peace out for some weird reason, we'll give you the dogs, we'll give you a great match, and we'll also give you cheeseburger. Well, what a win for best friends. We have that triple threat world tag team title match still to come. The new champions of Motor City Machine Guns event against the Young Bucks and the Kingdom. But best friends putting themselves Right in that mix. We got a, a heavyweight really talking down to a lightweight here. This is interesting. The crowd. Be his friend. There it is. And a best friend burger here in Pittsburgh. Your winners, best friends, here in great tag team action. What a match we just saw. And you know what? If you're in the addiction, you want to give up these opportunities, that's your own fault. Because best friends, and even the dogs, you credit where credit's due, stepping up to the plate here at Global War.